Back in 2002, we started noticing the increase in the geese population. But we also noticed that we were starting to get more diseases in our turf grasses. These were brought in by the geese. Their droppings have a lot of noxious weeds, different kind of seeds they eat. And then we had to start thinking about, well, the only way to get rid of these from choking out our, our good grasses is we had to spray chemicals. In the city and county of Broomfield, they're really trying to be environmentally friendly. Let's try to get rid of spraying more chemicals. And to do this, we, we came up with the plan of the border collies. And so we started our own goose chasing program. Worked out really, really well. So going to BIP, we just saw some land in there on the baseball field. So again, in one of these places that we really like to keep the geese off our, our athletic fields. Go get them. Let's go get them. Let's take one side, have Rex do the other. Let's go this way. Let's go get them. In a park this size, it's it's better to have two dogs out here. Sometimes they like to hop from field to field, and it's nice to have two dogs because it kind of prevents them from landing again. Border Collies will actually go in and try to herd the geese, and once the geese are trying to get up in a bunch, they'll want to take off, and that's exactly what we want to do. We want them to go into the open space areas. We want to just keep them off all of our turf grasses. The program's been ongoing for a little over eight years now, and we feel like it's a success. We're keeping geese off the turf, keeping them from chewing athletic turf and uh, thinning the, the grass out. Uh, droppings can be a health hazard. Kids coming out and playing on the ball fields, especially the smaller kids who want to keep them away from the goose droppings. We feel like the program's been very effective at, at accomplishing that mission. All right, Craig, let's go get them. Let's go get them. Let's go get them. Come on. Let's go get him, let's go get him. I kind of wanted to do that one fast. They've been in here twice, so I'll get a little aggressive with him, start running with him. But we got to be consistent, we got to get with them all the time, be uh, real persistent. This might be easy as soon as we open up the door, they'll fly. it was going to be easy. That went like it's supposed to. As soon as we get out, we kind of creep up on him a little bit, and then I'll just send him up. He takes off running, and they're off, and we go to the next place. I was one of the initial handlers of the dogs. I've got one. His name is Craig, and he's 10 years old. Now that's 70 years in dog years, and after eight years, He's really done well, he's done his job. He knows exactly what he's supposed to do. Loves to go to work with me every day. Truly, he's like one of my best friends. We also have another handler, Jeff Kissinger, and his dog, Rex. They're still getting acquainted with each other, but to have two dogs makes it a whole lot better, a whole lot easier. So we got Rex about six months ago. We got him from a trainer that lives in Illinois. He understands what his job is now, and, and you know, we pull up to a park like this, we can open the door. He knows what he's there to do, and, and I definitely feel like I have full control of him. I like keeping the parks looking nice. I feel fortunate that I'm able to bring my dog to work with me every day, and I think he really enjoys the type of work that he does. You're up at Columbine? Yeah. We'll head that way. There they are, Craig. Ready? That was easy, huh? That was easy. We really need to keep the geese off of there because they'll bring in some seeds from noxious weed which will be a patch of grass and it'll actually choke out some of our turf grass. This is kind of our main reason why we're trying to get to keep the geese off our, our park systems and our athletic fields. And they virtually have taken the grass out, clear down to dirt. They've eaten the, the stubs. It's really stubs right now. And you'll see these where we get a lot of geese hanging out. 
They've really destroyed this area. You can see all the scad all around, not very pleasant. You look at this sidewalk and it doesn't look very good right now. But that's what we're trying to do is keep them out of the park system, the trail systems. So eventually we'll have to have a broom come down here and sweep this up. Out here behind me, we're on Trail South Pond. It's uh, notorious for having a lot of geese. We have a solar paneled strobe light. It's a flotation device. It's got a photo sensor on there. It'll start strobing. It's a low level light. It covers about 150 yards either way. And what the purpose is, is try to keep geese from coming, getting real comfortable with it. It disrupts their sleeping pattern. So it, the constant uh, strobing kind of makes them, they don't want to come back anymore. We use these silhouettes to basically make the geese fearful of coming in when they see a dog or a coyote. They think they're predators, so really what we're trying to do with these silhouettes is uh, the geese are flying around and they'll see what looks like a coyote or looks like a dog. It'll make them think a couple more times whether they really want to land here or not. So it helps. From a distance, they look really, really authentic. And you see some geese here that we drove by. This is a designated open space area and we won't bother the geese when they're in that. We know geese have to go somewhere. But we would prefer that they stay in the open space. This is kind of our job, keep them off the turf, let them go in the open space areas, the designated open space areas, and let them be wild. Also important to us that if your dog needs to be on a leash because the coyotes, they get comfortable around people. If they see dogs running around, it could be a danger to your animal. The important thing about leash laws for dogs, especially in the city, is you want to make sure that your dogs are not going into parts of the city that they really don't belong in, especially a lot of the wildlife habitats can be dangerous for the wildlife. Wildlife can also be quite dangerous for your dog. The biggest things that we find that dogs around here are likely to pick up from the wildlife is foxes and coyotes certainly carry many different things. They carry heartworm disease, they have fleas, they have scabies mites, which uh, is very contagious to dogs. And we also have prairie dogs that we know are prone to have the plague at certain times of the year and they have fleas. These are all things that can be passed to our own pets. Some of these things are also things that your pets can then pass on to you. Coyotes specifically are one of the animals that can cause great harm to your dog, so it's best to make sure your dogs remain on their leashes. I grew up in Broomfield, went to high school in Broomfield. I worked for the city and county of Broomfield for roughly 17 years. So I take a lot of pride in the way that the city and county looks and the way that other people perceive it. You know, it gives me satisfaction. And, you know, having a goose dog is just part of that and helps keep the city looking to the standard we like. Jeff and I have known each other since he was in high school. We have a good working relationship and it kind of fits in right with the dogs. We know the town very, very well and we know the habits of the geese. We've been doing this for, for eight years now. It's kind of awesome. It's a unique situation. It's a unique program that the city has continued to do, and, and we're seeing some positive results uh, through the years. Let's go. Craig is 10 years old, and the life expectancy of a Border Collie is anywhere from 12 to 15 years. Craig is getting up to that point where He's slowing down a little bit, and we might have to take him out of service here. We're hoping to get a, another year out of him, hopefully too. In that time, Craig will go home with me. I'll get to take him and, and treat him as my own dog, and, and then I have to start thinking about, do, do I want another dog? Uh, do I want to continue this program? It's a lot of things that I really don't want to think about because he's still doing good, and I'll try to keep him out there as long as I can. My family moved actually to Broomfield in 1958, and so I've been around Broomfield. I've seen the changes, I've seen the growth, and I love it here. Park systems, the trail systems, I really enjoy our pride that our Parks Department has. We all work together as, as a group in Public Works to make the city one of the best cities. I mean, you look around at all the flowers we have, the trees we have, the trail systems. This is my hometown, and I just love the way Everything looks. I enjoy what I do for a living. Just being part of the, the goose chasing is part of my job.